Okay, so in this video today, we're going to look at learning our potting angles and improving our angle recognition. So I think it's very common when players first start out that they actually prefer to leave less angle on the object ball because they find that easier to judge. But actually in snooker, it's much more beneficial if we can start to leave more of an angle on the object ball because that enables us as snooker players to move the white ball around much more easily. So if we can build up our angle recognition, that will then lead on to us being able to build much bigger breaks. Because as I say, we can start to move the white ball around without having to force shots. So in this little routine I've got here, I've got a little progressive routine where we're going to increase the angle on this blue each time and start to build up our angle recognition. So I'm going to talk through exactly the kind of things I do on a routine like this and how I get used to recognising these angles and playing these shots. Right, so I'm going to talk through this routine then. And at first I've got the white set up nice and straight on the blue, so I've got a perfectly straight shot. And then I'm going to move the white up into the position of each one of these reds each time until I'm increasing my angle more and more and I get to this final red where I've got quite a bit of a cut on the blue ball. So there's going to be three very important things I'm going to do when I'm approaching this routine. So first of all, to get used to these angles, the three things I'm going to do that are very important I'm going to hit centre ball, so I'm not trying to do anything fancy with the white ball, I'm just playing it centre ball and just letting the white just run naturally where it's going to run. The second thing is I'm going to play the shots nice and slowly so I get used to the path that the white ball takes and the blue ball takes to the pocket, so I'm absorbing that information each time. And the third thing I'm going to do is keep very, very still on each shot. So even if we miss a few of these shots, it's very important that we stay down on the shot and that gives us our feedback. If we constantly keep hitting a shot too thin, for example, and we stay down and we get used to the path that the blue ball is taking to the pocket, that's going to enable us to much more quickly build up that angle recognition and the pattern recognition. So let's have a look at this routine to start then. So first of all, I'm going to pop this blue here. So just middle of the white, I've done my pre-shot routine. Middle of the white, nice and soft, keep still. So I'm happy with that one there. So I'm going to go around and get the blue out and move my white to the next position. Okay, so I've successfully potted that first shot. Now I'm going to I've moved my white onto this next position here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So middle of the white, trying to stand behind what I think is the line of aim. And then centre of the white, keep nice and still, nice and soft. So I've tracked the blue ball to the pocket and I'm happy again that I've successfully made that shot. Moving on to the next position. Okay, so the next position, more of an angle now for me to judge, so I've got to be a little bit careful here, but make sure I'm doing those three things. So I'm standing up behind the shot, hitting centre ball, nice and soft, and keeping down on the shot so that I learn my, learn my recognition of this angle. So again, nice and still. And the blues ball's gone in. Not too worried about what that white is doing, I'm trying to build up my angle recognition here. So the white's run around the table, I played the shot nice and slow, watch that blue on the way to the pocket to build up my recognition of the angles. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm on my next position here. I'm gonna do exactly the same things. I've got to try and stand behind the line, bit more of an angle to judge now. So again, trying to stand behind the line, walking in. Now do everything right on the shot. Center ball, keep still, nice and soft. And I've successfully made that shot as well, so on to the next position. So on my final position now, got quite a big angle on this blue now. So this is where I've got to really start trusting that I've picked the correct line in this standing position and then do all of my things to start recognising that, recognising the path that the object ball is taking to the pocket. So nice and soft again, keep still. So I successfully potted all of those balls there. Now obviously at first when you're starting to build up your angle recognition, of course we're going to miss a few of these shots, we're going to hit shots too thick or too thin. So we're going to, each time when you struggle on one of these areas, you can set the shot back up again until you can start to get three shots in a row. Once you can get three shots in a row, you can move on to the next position and then slowly start to build up your angle recognition. So at first, just remember that you're always only competing against yourself. Nobody else, so you just need to write down your best scores. So 
In each position, you want to get three shots correct and then move on to the next one. So you're always competing against yourself. Don't worry what other people are doing. Just try to beat your personal best each time. So as always, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give the video a like. If you want to offer a little bit of extra support to these videos so I can spend more time filming and editing, then you can do that on Patreon and the link for that is in the description below. For anybody that's interested in any one-to-one -one coaching sessions, the link to my website and my email address is also in the description. And as always, please remember to subscribe to these videos because that just helps me to keep this content coming. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.